Niagara Falls is open for investing. If you're interested in doing a duplex or triplex conversion, I have some exciting news to share with you about the city of Niagara Falls. My name is Koken and I'm a real estate investor and I run a real estate team here in the Niagara region. If you're interested in learning more about what we do, check out our free beginner's guide to investing in the Niagara region in the comments below. Niagara Falls is one of the cities in the Niagara region that I've personally stayed away from investing in or recommending others to do so. The reason for this is that their rules have been very restrictive. One of the main challenges was that in an R1 zone, the lowest density residential zoning, which is kind of like the typical family friendly neighborhood, so far they allowed you to create one additional unit, but only up to 40% of the square footage of the main unit and you needed to live in that main unit as a homeowner. This was not an option for investors. 40% of the main unit is especially tough. This was different from other cities that asked for 40% of the entire home square footage. The other challenge is the Niagara Falls building inspectors and fire department. They have been known historically as a very tough city to work in. This is a challenge that remains despite the changes that have been implemented. My hope is that they're realizing the shortage of housing that exists and are going to be more straightforward to work with considering they are making the following changes. So what has actually changed? As of recently, Niagara Falls has updated their rules to allow up to two additional units per property. This can be either in the existing home or one in the home and one as a detached accessory unit or garden suite. This is even being allowed in the lowest density R1 zoning. Another game changer is that you no longer need to live in the home in order to do this. We are now allowed as investors to add additional units, which is a huge win. Here are some of the things you will need to keep in mind if you're interested in implementing this strategy. You will need three parking spaces. Niagara Falls allows you to have it either side by side, front to back, or a combination of the both. Something to keep in mind is that you can use up to 60% of the frontage of the home for parking, which is fairly generous as some cities only allow 50% or less. The additional units still need to be 40% of the square footage of the main unit. This has always been the case, but since we can now do two units, we have a few ways to make it work. The first is by creating two smaller 40% apartments in a bungalow style property so that the total takes up 80% of the basement with the remaining 20% as common area or furnace room. And second, you can do this in a two-story home where the entire basement is around 40% and you can add a detached second suite that is also 40% of the main home, the main floor and the second floor. With these new changes, I'm excited to start looking in Niagara Falls for opportunities that were not an option previously for us investors. Are you considering Niagara Falls for your first or next investment property? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking to invest in the Niagara region, feel free to contact us in the description below and one of our investment coaches will get back to you for a complimentary consultation. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and for more investing content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. All the best.